Hey, what is up guys, and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to build this stone windmill. Before we get started, note that while I'm only going to be using stone bricks to make the walls, you'll want to use a mixture of about 60% stone, 30% stone bricks, and 10% cobblestone if you want the most realistic look. Now to kick things off at the entrance, start by placing two five tall pillars with a three block gap in between. Then add two more pillars diagonally and to the right. After that, make a 5x5 five five wall, and then continue that same pattern going all the way around so that it forms a cylinder. When that's done, fill in the top two layers on the front, and then place an upside down stair under each corner. Next, place a layer of stone slabs that goes all the way around the inner ring. Then, add a set of seven tall pillars on top so that it forms another cylinder. After that, place a second layer of stone slabs around the inside, and then follow that up with another set of seven tall pillars. Once that's done, replace these two full blocks with stone brick stairs, and then add three stairs in the center, followed by a full block in between, and repeat that same design for the remaining three sides. Next, take out some spruce slabs and place a ring of these around the top of the first floor. Above that, the pattern will go one spruce slab on each end, three spruce stairs in the middle, and then two slabs in each corner. And you'll continue the same design all the way around. For the upper roof, start by placing a layer of spruce slabs around the outside. Then, place three spruce stairs in the center of each wall, followed by spruce slabs on the sides. Next, place a full block in each corner, followed by two more on each side, with two slabs on top. And that should leave you with just enough space for stairs in the middle. Now, place another set of planks in the corners, followed by slabs in between, and one last full block at the top. For the wheel, start by placing four oak logs three spaces below the roof. Then, add four seven block long diagonal spokes using oak wood. When that's done, take out some white wool, and the pattern for each fan will go one, one, two, three, four, and then two, and simply rotate that 90 degrees each time. Once you're finished, grab some spruce stairs and place them in the corners in between each oak log. This will help make each spoke look a bit sturdier. Next, take out your spruce planks, and the pattern for each fan will go one, two, two, and then two. And again, this will rotate 90 degrees each time. After that, place a spruce trapdoor on the front of each oak log. This will help give each blade a little more depth. And to finish it off, simply place a stone button in the center, as well as a set of trapdoors that wrap around the axle. To let some natural light in, carve out a too tall window on the left with spruce fences in the opening and a pair of trapdoors on the side to act as shutters. Then do the same thing on the right. After that, Go ahead and replace the floor of the windmill with gravel. When that's done, extend the axle of the windmill by an additional three blocks, and then add an oak pillar that goes all the way down to the ground. Next, place one more log on the end of the axle, surrounded by four spruce planks with stairs in each corner and a button on the end to act as a cogwheel. Then, add a second cog below that, this time facing horizontally. For a bit more support, you can also add a few cross beams connecting the large axle to the sides of the mill. After that, make a five block long spoke near the base of the axle and add a stone wheel on the right, utilizing the exact same shape as the cog with the button on the end. At this point, I also recommend adding some sand on the ground to look like crushed wheat. 
However, you can't always skip this step if you want your mill to be empty. For even more detail, simply replace the center of the grinder with a composter and add a spruce trap door on the side. When it comes to the entrance, start with the spruce door in the center, followed by spruce trap doors around the outside. And there you have it, your very own stone windmill. So thanks for watching guys, hopefully you found the tutorial helpful, and as always, I will see you in the next one.